Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. Rob here with my good buddy Sujay, and today he's going to talk about his own CPT internship experience and all the great information that's going to help you in your own job search. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys are new to Chai and Coaching, we're all about helping international students be successful here in America. We love doing cross-cultural training and helping you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, click below. Like these videos if they're helpful. Let's stay connected. Leave a comment or connect with us online, social media. Um, a lot of different ways to do that. And let's uh, help each other out. Sujay, um, you've been in several videos, but yeah, introduce yourself again. Hi, my name is Sujay. I'm doing my master's in information technology and management at uh, UT Dallas. And yeah, this is my fourth video, I guess. Thank you, Rob, for featuring me in so many of your videos. Thanks for your great wisdom. <laughs> Always happy to help. Rob. Yeah. So my friend Sujay um, has had a great CPT, curricular practical training, uh, internship experience during his time while studying here. It was in the summer and then it got extended through the fall. Just tell us a little bit about it, where it was, the company, and what you did. So I interned at uh, New York Life as a data analyst. My uh, workplace was here in Dallas, but I got to travel a lot to New York and New Jersey where their uh, head offices are. Yeah, I always remember seeing uh, Suji on his WhatsApp status or his Instagram story of all you know him flying into New York City in the Skyliner. All right, I'm going to the Big Apple this week, and I was always jealous of all the paid trips he got to go to New York City. Oh yeah, job. it was free and it was fun, so yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> so tell us about kind of your team and kind of what projects you did. So I work for the data governance team uh, here in Dallas. So th there are four of us here and. Uh, uh, two people managing us from uh, New York. So uh, I had one of my Dallas managers. Uh, he was a lot of help because I was uh, never used to the uh, American corporate culture. So he helped me get assimilated to the American workplace and uh, how to get through it and how, how to reach out to people, how to learn stuff because internship is all about learning and getting getting used to something and trying to see if you are a good fit for the company and what, what you are doing is, uh, is worth doing for the company, right? Because you can definitely end up doing what you do in the future and you can make a career out of it. Hmm. That was a, a, you know, a fun way for me to learn uh, while having uh, uh, interacting with new, uh, interns from uh, New Jersey, New York and uh, Dallas. So Sujay, now the big question everyone wants to know is what did you do to get this job? You know, what were the approaches that you took and what actually helped you to land this CPT which everyone's striving for but not every student gets? Okay, the first thing that you do is you start on day one. The day you land, you need to start applying for companies. You need to start updating your LinkedIn. You need to start updating your resume to reflect what kind of work you are looking for and what you, you wanted to do uh, during the internship. So for me, it was uh, it was about starting on the day one. And also uh, for me, what got through was I got it through the uh, internet portal that UT Dallas provides. It's, it's a job portal where you can apply for internships and full-time jobs. And uh, that's how I landed my internship. Uh, my potential record came uh, came to the Dallas uh, uh, I mean our campus and uh, I got to interview for the team and uh, he liked me so much that he uh, took me into his team do you want to share a little bit more about that fun experience and what kind of how it happened <laughs> oh yeah so I, as, as I was uh, uh, continuing my uh, uh, summer internship through through the fall then my manager opened up a little he uh, started speaking about how I got the internship and how I beat the other people that that had applied for the job and how I was better than most of them and how my interview was better than uh, uh, the other people so it was it was fun to know what what kind of uh, how that one uh, our interview shaped up uh, how my uh, the entire journey of my uh, yeah. uh, internship at New York life was. So that made, was interesting. And what made you stand out amongst other great candidates? I think uh, yeah, like I, I didn't treat it as an interview. I went in with the. Uh, mindset that I, I was going to talk to a friend. I would, I would tell him about my uh, life story, but not not as, as an interviewer or an interviewee, but but as a friend and just talk it out. So he he felt that comfort with me. He he liked how uh, he was able to ask questions and I was able to a answer them. So yeah, that's that's what worked for me. Yeah, I think. So be confident and tell your tell your story as uniquely and uh, you know un uninhabitedly as possible. The, the message to walk away with here is all about the connection. Yep. We you know some of the other students were that who interviewed and they were really sharp. They're working for other great companies. Yeah. So Sujay had some stout competition for this job opening, but the feedback was that this guy felt a connection, a relationship, 
that really this guy just likes you Jay more <laughs> exactly it's about you making that connection with the interviewer because when he goes back he doesn't remember your name or what you did or, or who you are but he was like i made that connection with that guy let me go back and get yeah. his uh, pull out his resume it doesn't matter your gpa it doesn't matter all the languages you have on your resume it matters about the connection exactly one one interesting uh, tidbit for during the interview as uh, my interviewer asked me where is your gpa i said this is my first semester i just landed here i don't have a gpa and he said everything is great so we can look at it later yeah. so it's as uh, simple as that be be honest during your interview if you don't have it you don't have it if you have it you have it so so whatever you put on your resume be honest and be truthful and uh, eventually everything will work out yeah and again recruiters if you're getting an interview they already know you're technically sound what they care about is if they like you if you connect and your personality and your relationship skills your soft skills are a good fit to work in their company exactly you you are going to spend 40 hours a week working with your colleagues right so they need to make sure that you, you can you can definitely be that person they want to spend the 40 hours a, a week uh, with yeah and that, that recruiter like sujay so much that he actually hired him straight into his own team so yeah. he could work side by side with sujay with, yes so which is cool i even got to go down and have lunch with those guys on yeah. it was cool to see that bonding connection his team had there at new york life and why they work so well together any final tips for people who are looking for cpt jobs right now uh start off early and uh, make sure you have a clean uh, linkedin profile make sure you have a clean resume and uh, yeah best of luck awesome you guys cj his story was really fun but also really helpful follow his tips follow his example and you guys are going to be in a great position um, to be successful here in america thanks again for joining us don't forget to subscribe and connect with us online and we'll see you guys next time at chai and coaching have a good one